Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it is your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. Ooh, as I always say, <laughs> as I always say, thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, views, and memberships. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Y'all, I gotta download. We're gonna get up in this because what they talking about. Look, Spirit them say that uh you had a sneaky link recently. You, you had some company recently. If y'all wasn't, you know, sneaking link don't necessarily mean that you had to have, you know, intercourse with a person for some of y'all. And did. But <laughs> for some of y'all, y'all could have just met this person, talked to him for a little bit, you know, something like that. Uh, this person pulled up on you, though. Okay? And I think he's very excited that he now knows where you stay. He feels like y'all are getting closer. He can keep a closer eye on you. Not that he suspects you of anything, but just be he, he feels more comfortable knowing where you are. Maybe you had to leave from a situation you were in, uh, heal from a situation, and now he's glad he can pinpoint. Yeah, he got justice. He can pinpoint you on the map. He knows where you are. So he feels like you guys are getting... Ooh, excuse me, I had a burp. Feels like you guys are getting closer and everything's working out for y'all. And he's ready to open up this brand new cycle. And y'all was all lovey-dovey and together and being cute. And he was able to, you know, use his intuition to decide, is it a good night for me to go over here or not? And you know, he did it anyway. And he got stalked. Mm. Like it was good for him to come over. I, this is a trap. The Holy Spirit set a trap for somebody. Holy Spirit said, you want to stop and you want to watch this man? I'm going to give you a show. And when this man came to see you, whoever this is that was stalking him, followed him. She know where you stay too. And the download was she be trying to chant in front of your house. Okay, chanting in front of your house. What I'm getting is she on the phone with her homegirls waiting to see if this man pull up on you. And if he do, then she's going to start some sort of riot. Like, she's getting boosted up by her homegirl on the phone. Like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that because now I finally know where they at. Like, she feel like she got justice because she know where you at too. But I'm telling you, all this is part of God's plan. It's crazy though. God's plan. This person is supposed to see this. This is their judgment. They're supposed to see this happen. Maybe this person said it'll be a cold day in hell before I let him just go over there to her. And then uh, your ancestors say, all right, bitch, you ready to go? You brought your coat? Like, for real. <laughs> oh, my good. Uh, Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right, bitch, you ready to go? You brought your coat? Okay, who is this empress? Y'all, I know this ain't this man mama. I know this ain't this man mama. Who is this empress? Y'all, I'm scared to look at it. I don't want to know that this this man mama. This man mama followed you somewhere? What? Who is this empress? She's very surprised. And how passionate this person is. And she wants them to have temporary success with you. Or she thought that they would have temporary success with you. For some of y'all, this is a mother. What the fuck? This is a mother figure, but... I don't think the mother she might have a, a tag on his car or something or maybe this ex that's followed this ex that followed him called his mama bro come on this is so ghetto this girl called his mama i see where he at he over here at such and such so the girl saw him getting ready to leave and go somewhere i really feel like this girl was on her way to come stop this man at his house and she didn't see him at his house so she caught him headed somewhere else okay but some of y'all somebody got an air tag on something or a gps on something or maybe this woman's just traveling in spots that he be maybe he has a prominent car you know the car that he drive whatever maybe this car he pulled up on you in is a car that a lot of people know and he usually he does not drive this car but he drove it this night either way it go he drove this car this girl stalked him when she was stalking him followed him to where you was called his mama and was on the phone talking about how you and him could have possibly been in there getting it down or could have just been there talking okay yes she did yes she did and she said that she was gonna put a stop to this it'll be a cold day in hell before i let him be with her maybe that's what the mama said child whatever it was they was trying to manifest they wanted to manifest the situation they want to see uh-huh that's why she keep driving past your house now that she know where you stay at because she been stalking him but now she want to come up there and catch him at your house so she can get out the car and she can act ugly. she can she you know you know start a riot and such things because she's upset that this masculine deals with you and only deals with you this masculine ain't giving out to nobody he ain't hanging out with nobody he getting to that money and he coming to make his little trips come see what you and that thing talking about and this woman don't like it she don't like it okay she feel foolish as hell because she keep chasing this man but at the end of the day she can't stop looking so the holy spirit says since you want to spiritually spy this woman used to spiritually spy a lot and then the holy spirit told her she can't look no more and now she physically spying 
she said in that cold day in hell here she goes she keeps saying something about this cold day in hell she about to witness it i'm telling you the bitch need to go go get her shawl it's gonna be it's gonna be chilly okay my goodness she want to bring an end to this relationship. She want to bring an end to this man coming towards you. She want to bring an end to him having control over himself and not being a fool for her. Not worried about her. Why he so worried about you? Okay, and that could be from this mother figure too. Why he not worried about me? Why he worried about her? Why he don't care what I think no more? I think that's what it is. She feel like he's sneaking and he's disregarding the things that she could possibly be telling him because she want to control his life. She want to push a narrative on him that he does not want. You can't force no narrative on this masculine, but you know, you can tell her that. So that's how you know this is a mother figure, an overbearing ass mother figure who needs to let her son go out here and do her thing. I mean, to be to do her thing. So she wanted her son to go out here and do her thing, but she didn't want him to do what he wanted to do. Okay, but she feel like he's sneaking away to come see you and be with you, handling his own business on his own. And now she feel like she got some insight on the situation again about how strong he is or how about strong or how strong he feels about starting a new uh chapter with you. Maybe he spoke to her about it. Did he speak to her about it? I said I heard I heard the worst decision in his life. Yes, he did. He told her how he felt about you. And he told her that he wanted to come towards you. And she wanted to try to stop that. Told him he'll have temporary success. Uh, you'll delay him. You bad news. All that shit like that. He not tapping into his potentials. Sitting here worrying about a female. It's always a woman, a woman, a woman that he worried about. Put this man all in his mind trying to make him think, okay, what well, is it? You know, then I'm just paying attention to her. And she throwing me off my game. I need to work hard. Hell no. Nah. He probably fed us some bullshit and was like, yeah, you know what? You right. Mama, you right. She might be throwing me off. She might be distracting me. And then turn right back around, grab his keys, and came to see you. Child, this man is feeding these people bullshit, and they don't know how to take it. Yes, he said, y'all been feeding me bullshit for the longest. I'm going to give y'all the same bullshit back. I'm going to sit here, look in your face, and make you think I believe everything you're saying. I'm going to go on and do what the fuck I want to do. I'm going to go on and do what the fuck I want to do, okay? And this masculine did that that night, okay? So now, when this man came towards you, this woman felt like she was going to follow him, followed him, and now she was in her car crying when y'all was outside chilling and doing whatever because she feels like it's inevitable. That's why he got his guard up to me is because he's with her. He's not going to bother with me no more, all right? She's very unconfident, over-dependent on this masculine, over-dependent on other people for real. I feel like she just wanted the masculine bad um, or some, some sort of social status, possibly his child or something because she wants to be able to have people love her but people are disregarding her and he out here getting justice with you and that's just making her like freak out because she feel like she don't understand why um why is it that you get this uh success with this masculine when well, she was there before you so that's why she called the mama because she was like i'm gonna make sure if i can't do it then i'm gonna make sure you know uh that she can't do it okay so it could have been a, my candle is popping so she was on that phone popping. I'm hearing boop, 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 boop. She was on that phone popping. Talking a whole bunch of noise. The mother figure. Oh, he gonna listen to me because I'm his mama. He can't deal with nobody. I never say that I like her. He ain't gonna marry nobody that I don't like. He ain't gonna do no job that I don't want him to do. I can tell him I can this and I can that. Ooh, maybe that's what she was telling this lady on the phone. Meanwhile, for some of y'all, this masculine was down there in that car with you digging you down. For others of y'all, this masculine was just having a conversation with you thinking about digging you down, okay? Whatever they was talking, whatever mess they was conversating on the phone this masculine knew they was talking that mess and that's why he left possibly before he left and went away this girl had got on the phone with his mama or his mama was on the phone telling somebody else his mama was on the phone telling somebody maybe they was getting into it his mama was on the phone telling somebody something talking shit and i think he either overheard her talking shit five of wands and success they just keep trying to start conflict with him because he finally got some money Finally got some money outside of their control. They feel like he got some money outside of their control. They feel like he got success outside of their control. So that's why they freaking out and everybody trying to figure out what he got going on. Trying to uh, figure out why he's being so responsible. But some of y'all, they feel like he hiding a pregnancy. That's why you're hiding a pregnancy. Yeah, they feel like you got a child that you're not telling them about because it's going to cause conflict. But this masculine knows it's going to bring him success because he's been doing it on purpose, overindulging and having success with you. This masculine is very obsessed about you. These people are also obsessed about this masculine's money because he could be trying to get a loan to get a home. Or uh, he could have a home. They're jealous. She could have been jealous watching this man's home to see if he was going to make love or money. And it hurt her feelings because she got insight on the fact that he came straight toward you. So she wanted to argue. She needed somebody to boost her confidence up. But they told her to wait. Okay? Leadership. They told her to wait. 
this masculine is standing his ground he wants to provide support for you he wants to uh do that in the future but he know he got to end the situation first maybe end the past situation i'm not saying he dealing with her but he gotta like stand up to this karmic energy before he want to come toward you um for some of y'all this queen of cups was over here king of cups right here secret you may be pregnant oh shit and then the ace of cups came out some of y'all you are uh for others you're spiritually pregnant so you're about to you know bring forth some sort of idea to make some money with this masculine bright future god dog standing his ground like listen you might did somebody say somebody was pregnant bro hey if y'all had openly told people that you was pregnant this is a this is what's happening people are freaking out okay maybe somebody said hey she's got to be pregnant pregnant is coming up but some of y'all he uh overindulged in his love with you maybe the night that y'all had this sneaky link and this woman was there the holy spirit stopped her because this was the night that you got pregnant for some of y'all uh for others this could have been the night that you and this mason had a conversation about the future that y'all want to have or he made the decision that he wants to get you pregnant and he wants to move forward you know what i'm saying for others that this is business and he want to be your man and get married to you and y'all share your generational wealth because you ain't talking about no kids then this masculine uh like i said made that decision to come towards you um indefinitely for some of y'all he was dipping in your booty mama while this woman was hating driving up and down the street i'm telling you for some of y'all she parked two streets over because she didn't want to get too close she just knew y'all was in there and she was crying and she was on the phone with his mama mm. She didn't done this before. They know that this man is planning. He's been working real hard and he's planning to have a rebirth. Um, and he's carrying all his burdens. He ain't telling nobody shit. He dealing with whatever mistakes that he possibly made. And he's moving forward with tenacity. Okay. They feel like he's very He's being more clever because he's dealing with you. They feel like you're very organized and highly articulate, possibly spiritually intuitive, or you've been giving him messages of confidence to help him build up his uh money. What the fuck? You possibly could have gave him a message about him having to stand guard about his money because of these people. And he was like, word, I'm taking that. I'm taking that to an account. But some of y'all, this woman been looking at his text messages some sort of way. I don't know if she has a record of the phone. She's mirroring the phone because this could be a gang stalking ass bitch. This could be a real karma situation situation where the mom is trying to take her son out and don't want him to be in a divine relationship okay some type of way someone's mirroring someone's phone they might have a family plan or some weird shit like that to be honest for some of y'all this woman could have bought this masculine a phone uh maybe as a gift or whatever and when he activated it she has someone that she know that spies on his shit all right uh maybe this woman told this mother figure that this masculine could have been talking to you in the past for some of y'all you know you was with this masculine i mean you was talking to this masculine maybe this woman thought you was with this masculine and i'm gonna just be honest with you this is when you first met this masculine after he didn't want to deal with this woman no more he could have had a drunken night and went to her house or they could have still been staying together he could have been sleeping on the couch or whatever this is when i say he saw you for the first time not like y'all compensated and he told himself okay i want to be well this is like i saw you from across the room i gotta get that ass i want to say yo you know what i'm saying so when he noticed you when he was going through his whole you know breaking up whatever with people or breaking up with this woman she was around him and she had i had told y'all like took the phone yeah man it was like a drunken night she was supposed to be sleeping with this man <gasps> this is so funny okay this woman's so sour she was supposed to be oh my what in the <laughs> oh my word okay look she i guess she reminiscing on this situation she's so upset she reminiscing on the situation my bad y'all heard something she rem she reminiscing and she's so upset because she had a moment with this masculine where she was trying to get back with him when he was breaking up with her because i guess she felt like you know she wanted to keep pulling on his heartstrings or whatever so he had went out somewhere i guess to the club and had a couple drinks he saw you he wanted to be with you he wanted to get with you this woman could have possibly saw that or like i said she invited him back to her house and or he already stayed there and he went home to go sleep on the couch or whatever and she went in there with his phone to use the face recognition to open the phone and she saw your information or she saw some sort of information about you in it maybe he saw you out and then he knew some people around you asked who you was looked you up on facebook like he was doing his research you know what i'm saying um and she felt like okay she wanted to tell that story to his mama oh he was always cheating that bitch a hoe she always been in the background that's why he always rejected me because he said it with that bitch like making you seem like you the toxic motherfucker when she the toxic motherfucker you know what i'm talking about but this man no better he been rejecting this bitch since 
uh, the time he saw you, okay, yes, he's been rejecting her since the time he saw you, and he's been healing ever since then, too, she's been left out in the cold, this is just a bitch who coming out of nowhere because this mother figure, this mammy, feel like she want to work together with this woman to try to get control over this masculine because she can't do it by herself, she used to be able to tell this masculine what to do, but she can't now, so she want to uh, partner up with this woman, and you know that's God's plan, because he gonna, they, 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 they gonna walk both of their sorry asses clean out this man's life with the way that they acting, Mm -hmm. with the way that they acting uh this woman could have possibly tried to put this man in a situation to make him uh reconcile with this feminine and he still had control over himself and they was upset about that so some of y'all they went on a trip i'm getting like with these clouds like a plane a bunch of different options and it didn't work this mother figure maybe possibly was causing illusions or trying to figure out a bunch of different options about what feminine to put back in this man's face. So she invited this girl to something. Maybe that's why she told her don't interrupt what y'all got going on. She invited this girl to something to try to surprise this masculine. But he withdrew from them. They could have tried to set a situation up and put this masculine in the room with this lady and it didn't work. Uh... She kept trying to communicate with him, start up conversations. He was ignoring the fuck out of her. He kept doing what he was doing. He put her in regret. She was upset. She was a drinking. She was a crying. Queen of Wands. She thought she was going to be able to sleep with this man and get control of him. She thought that she was super fine. She's feeling um like underconfident now. Because she feels like it must be her body, it must be this, it must be that. What about her makes him want her more than me? So she on some whole woe is me shit because she can't keep manipulating this masculine. And she thought she had the okay because the mama was on her side finally is what I heard. So the mama probably didn't like her for real was being fake with her. But the mama's on her side now. And um, they try to set a situation up to backstab this masculine uh, to retaliate against him releasing from them. And he ended up defeating and humiliating them. It was a pointless victim because he knew what secret they were trying to do they was trying to cause some mess maybe he knew the mammy was trying to put one of his exes in his face i'm hearing she been doing this a lot putting exes in his face he might have also knew that this woman was trying to do some sort of uh hexing or cursing he also knew that this woman was finna try to come toward him again because she has been dissing you and your spiritual connection you could be you know spiritually connected in whatever way and this woman know it so she's been trying to speak negatively on your spirituality if this is not the older woman speaking negatively to this masculine it's this feminine i feel like i mean this 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 whole but i feel like it's the mama i feel like it's the mama and she keeps saying, I'm just trying to look after your best interest. You don't want nobody just come in and swandering you out of your money. This lady calling you Miss Cleo. Get the fuck out of here. This lady trying to say you a Miss Cleo. She's saying all spiritualists are all people who... Look at this. Come look at this shit. All spiritualists and all people who believe in this. She always known for them to take people's money. It happened to somebody in the past in her family. This woman did some magic on the man and took the man away from somebody and ended up getting married. Y'all, why the fuck do I feel like this woman is telling this man the exact story that she did with his daddy? I really feel like she's doing projection and I, I don't think that she's realizing what she's saying until she say that shit. God is humiliating these women. He's letting them humiliate themselves, bro. Yes, she did. She tricked his daddy, bro. She tricked his daddy by changing his judgment, using her cootie, using her hot mama ways to get what she wanted. Y'all, why do I think this woman admitted that she tricked your daddy with some weird shit? And this man was looking at her like what bro <sighs> oh my god my candle just popped yes she did she fucked around i told you she did not this is one of them situations where you know some people will say something to you and they don't realize they be the said it before they said it yes she did this woman said that she tricked his daddy in the past like that so she's just looking out for him and his best interest so that he don't run up on no people like that like she might not have said it i'm gonna tell you how she said it because this is what i heard i just know for a fact it's people out here like that uh what she say dang i just forgot she said i know for my candle popped again she wanted me to say it. she was like i just know for a fact people be out here doing that they do this and they do that and then they'll be the got you and took all your money but like the shit she's saying is something that he knows that she did in the past with his daddy yes in a love relationship so this man said let me hurry up because i see i'm finna go ahead and go get in my love relationship and do what i need to do because what you just told me shows me that you working with these bitches that you just as crazy as these hoes is 
What in the world? Yeah, so now she upset sitting over there pouting because this masculine is still making trips and taking trips to come see you. She's surprised that he's so into you, that he's not listening to her. She feel like she want to play sick. Okay, maybe it was a situation or it's going to be a situation where this masculine is ready to go on a trip with you or take you somewhere or go somewhere. And this woman is going to try to act sick and try to act like, oh, woe is me. And she's going to get humiliated because this masculine is still, oh, that's what it is. This masculine is going to move away from her. If y'all don't move out of this state away from this woman, he's going to move out of the house with this woman. He's going to move out of the neighborhood from this woman. He's close to his mother in proximity. And she did that on purpose because maybe she had some sort of illness or she's claiming some sort of illness and she knew that he would come and baby her and he not about to baby her ass no more he already put it in his mind i think that could have been something that happened too i really feel like this woman tricked his daddy with a baby back in the day but i think it's been family issues because the baby ended up not being the daddy baby but the daddy still stayed with the mama queen of swords causing illusions working together with other people did something foolish i'm telling you she regret that she even said what she said out of mouth because now it looks like she baby trapped the daddy child she got all that because she yes yeah, she did she tricked him out of being single by saying that she was pregnant so she might have said she was pregnant and lost the baby and really didn't have no baby i don't know but her business coming out because whatever she said about you is the shit she did and now it fit the situation fit all right this man's gonna go get justice with you y'all gonna be able to have a brand new site move brand new site what brand new start move off the common waters and reconcile and do, be able to do it in secret in private okay yeah, he's not about to care that this one about to play sick. What y'all gonna do? What are y'all gonna be doing? Oh my gosh, whatever it is. It, okay, it's gonna... Whatever y'all gonna be doing is gonna end up all over somebody's mouth. Oh my goodness, somebody's daydreaming about... Being all up over your mouth. From foreplay in the honey pack. Somebody is thinking about being all up and in your mouth. Okay, I told y'all love at first sight. This person thought about what they wanted to do to you first quarter when they first met you. Okay, so it was talking about your lips. All right, this person is trying to make some memories with you or you made memories uh, in this person's head. This person wants to make memories. They want to take you shopping. All right, they want to marry you. They want to go ahead and get some cootie mama in a car. All right, bite your lip. Maybe when you bite your lip, oh my goodness, maybe this man's going to be playing with your breast and then you bite your lip and y'all be getting it okay. So he said y'all going to be in a car, right? And you, he going to do something to make you bite your lip, maybe like find it with your breast or something like that. And then he's going to ask you to touch it for him and let him see. And then he's going to get like rock hard and then he's going to want to uh, taste it. And then when he get up from tasting it, he going to want you to uh, get him fellatio. And then something gonna be jiggling. I guess while you getting fellatio, your uh, behind gonna be jiggling. Uh, public affection. This person's gonna show, you're gonna show, you're gonna give him fellatio in the vehicle. Uh, he's gonna give you some uh, uh, mouth in the vehicle. Wow. It's <laughs> a lot of giving. <laughs> Let's see. He said he took a honey pack. I don't think he's gonna be able to stop himself. Y'all might be trying to go to the zoo or do something cute, and it's just not gonna happen because the honey pack gonna take over. He gonna be in there slurping, and he not. He, he he's gonna be all up and in it okay fingers first all right he said he needs him a long time with you he might want to try to put you on the wall i don't know where y'all gonna be at but y'all can't be in that hunting around them dogs on stay in the car don't go in the zoo <laughs> stay in the car <laughs> okay he might want to whisper something in your ear that he want to touch something okay y'all could be going to a new beach this person said when he see you, he see what he want to do to you. You had y'all had some rough sex one time and you made him a uh, uh, nut fast and that just like really blew his mind. So he was like, let me court her right because she got that she 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 got that good stuff. Okay, this person said he's a very uh, he's very handsome. Maybe you said he's very handsome. A uh, private proposal. Somebody want to kiss somebody on the neck. So y'all gonna show some public affection or have a private proposal? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. He turn this masculine on, he turn you on down. Okay, both of y'all turn each other on for sure. <sighs> he said he wants you on your knees. He trying to do some role playing, maybe pull your hair, get real nasty with you because he's secretly obsessed with you, so he want to show you that, okay? Uh, he might be taking you on a boat ride. He could be gifting you with a home pretty soon, kissing you all over. What's up with this boat? I really feel like y'all not going on a boat. Okay, y'all might be going on a boat ride for the weekend, but I really feel like he gonna let you drive a boat. I still ain't found out what that was, but whatever it is, he said the sex is amazing. That's why you can drive a boat. Um, 
Yeah, Jello Booty, he want to see your booty move. He likes to see your booty move. He want to feel your booty move. Maybe he wants you to back it up on him a little bit, give him a little dance. Uh, gift giving with the shopping spree. He said he ain't never felt love till now, so he going to spoil you. He's going to give you the world, give you anything and everything that you desire. You deserve it, okay? Okay, and you also deserve for him to let loose all on your face. That's what he said. All right, also, I get, he, yeah, forget it, okay? You might be horny. He said he see it all over your face. It's written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. <laughs> you don't have to say a word. You don't have to say a word, baby. Just smile, just smile, just smile, just smile for me, okay? All right, y'all. I'm gonna have to get, get to another one another day, all right?